Frankie Catafies is learning and sharing with us some helpful tips so we're prepared for anything when we hit the road. Good morning, Frankie. Good morning, you guys. Yes, I promised you an Allstate agent to kind of give us a little bit more information on winter tips and tricks for driving um, and keeping the, the, the road safe. So I'm here with Clark Nielsen. Clark, thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. And so I just kind of want to ask you, you had gave, you gave me a really cool number. So Boise is not only one of the safest cities, but it ranks pretty high out of how many? 200 cities. Boise is number four out of the largest 200 cities in the United States where snow and rain is a consideration in driving. That's excellent. I feel like we're doing something right when it comes to that. Can you tell us now a little bit more about these tips and tricks? What do people need to know to be safe on the roads and stay safe through winter and even this holiday season? Probably one of the biggest things they can do right now is prepare. That means take a look at your vehicle. You can make sure that you've got plenty of tread left on your tires. Go ahead and check your fluid levels. Make sure your vehicle is safe to operate and you've got plenty of brake pads left. And tell me about staying alert. You know, people know to stay alert, but what tips would you give to maybe keeping people, or what reminders would you tell people? You know, probably the biggest thing is don't text and drive. You know, keep your head up. Um, avoid distracting items that can, you know, pop up in our cars and just do your best to pay attention to the road. And, you know, don't panic. We, we often encounter these situations where we panic. Maybe we're sliding on ice or we crash into a pile of snow. It's easier said than done to, to not panic, but what, what else would you maybe tell somebody when they're in these situations that they can't control? Sure. The first thing you should do is keep your eye on where you would like to go. Ease off the accelerator and then definitely don't overcorrect and oversteer. And then once you regain traction, then gently guide yourself to the destination that you'd like to go. But don't panic. Just again, it's, it's unnatural, but just ease off the accelerator. Don't oversteer. And most likely you'll be, you know, better improve your chances of being safe. And let's talk emergency kits. Why do we need them and what needs to be in them? Emergency kits are very important. So obviously have a have a light first aid kit inside them. You know, gloves are nice in case you have to work on your vehicle. A bottle of water is great. Maybe a protein bar or something like that. You should also consider the needs of your individual family. If you have some medications that someone need that it's really important for them, make sure you include those. You know, blankets a great idea. Just different things that if you do have to spend some time in your car, that you will have what you need. Excellent. Well, if you guys have any questions on what you need or just a reminder of what we've just talked about, make sure you visit our website, sixonyourside.com, and we'll have it all listed for you. Live inside of our studio car, Frankie Catafias, Six on Your Side. Thank you, Frankie. That was good advice this morning. Always good reminders, too. And yes, we're just less than a 